Now we're moving up to the maze, advanced, so level two if you want. Again, just in walk, but you're going to see the difference because the poles are now all touching. So we are going to ask much more from the body. And you really have to think as the rider, plan your route because it is quite tight. Um, bigger horses, you really might struggle with this. However, smaller horses and advanced horses that are in collection can... This is a great exercise. So walking in the middle here, planning my route, slowing the walk down. I'm asking for bend through that rib cage. Beautiful, lovely, good. Oh, losing the quarters there. That's probably my fault. Coming around again. That was fantastic. Good boy. So when you are going around the kind of tight area of the maze, focus on obviously your positioning, but the horse must really always be walking forward. So that avoids them getting stuck. I don't want them to pivot on the front legs or pivot on the back legs. Always want him stepping forward. So lovely, lovely. Good. Lost my back end a little bit there. Good. Two. Yeah. Great. Good boy. Good man. So just personally there, I could feel a bit of a difference going through the maze this way to the other side. He was almost bracing against my rib cage, so his rib cage and my legs. So I'm going to do it again and then just see if I can slow that walk down a little bit, but keep the rhythm. That's good. And actually just stopping and letting him process that. Good man.